Dome. And let's go to Frank Fallon now to meet the starting lineups. The Georgetown Hoyas and the North Carolina Tar Heels. For Georgetown, at a forward, number 32. A 6'5", 185-pound senior from Potomac, Maryland, Eric Smith. For North Carolina at the forward, number 44, a 6'8", 210-pound sophomore from East Hunter, New York, Matt Gordaby. For Georgetown at the forward, number 40, a 6'7", 180-pound senior from Washington, D.C., Mike Hancock. For North Carolina at the forward, number 52, a 6'9", 219-pound junior from Gastonia, North Carolina, James Worthy. For Georgetown at center, number 33, a 7-foot, 220-pound freshman from Cambridge, Massachusetts, Pat Ewing. For North Carolina at center, number 41, a 6'9", 224-pound sophomore from Lakeland, New York, Sam Perkins. For Georgetown at a guard, number 20, a 6'5", 190-pound sophomore from Bronx, New York, Fred Brown. Number 23, a 6'5", 189-pound freshman from Wilmington, North Carolina, Michael Gordon. For Georgetown at a guard, number 21, a 6'3", 170-pound senior from Gastonia, North Carolina, Eric Floyd. And for North Carolina at a guard, number 21, a 6'3", 162-pound senior from the Bronx, New York, Jimmy Black. The head coach of the Georgetown Hoyas is John Thompson. The head coach of the North Carolina Tar Heels is Dean Smith. Forty minutes of basketball to determine the national champion. The officials John DeBrow for the Big Eight, Bobby Dibler of the Western Athletic Conference, and Hank Nichols of the Metro. As Sam Perkins will be going up at center circle against Pat Ewing and the 1982 NCAA championship is underway. Hancock off to Eric Smith. Back out to Hancock. This is Fred Brown who played so well and that went over Louisville. Sleepy Floyd, over 2,000 points in his career at Georgetown. The all-time leading scorer has to get it back out to Brown and North Carolina playing some tough man-to-man -man defense into Ewing. Straight man-to-man, -man. Perkins letting Ewing handle it, shooting that fadeaway. So on the play and here comes Black. Black has been shooting very well in this tournament, extremely well. 83 to percent to be exact and that'll be goaltending. But I'll tell you, Ewing is up around that cylinder. Well, he is, and that was not a wise play on his part. James Worthy will not be intimidated with that type of goal, Ken, because the ball was obvious. John Thompson has worked with his young club all year to come up with that, and Ewing with another steal. That's two turnovers against North Carolina, and Ewing is playing remarkably well. Both teams are very tight. Here's Ewing again, and he has four points. He was not getting that shot against him in that time by Fred Brown. Here's James Worthy, and that'll be another goaltending. Patrick Ewing is standing right under the basket. John Thompson's trying to work the officials a little bit here, but you can't block those kind of shots against a Worthy or Perkins when you're standing right under the basket because their ball's going to come down quickly, and there you see it. Boy, Doherty gets it into Jimmy Black. Nice pass, baseline, Jordan, and we're going to have goaltending again. That's three goaltending calls on Pat Ewing. That's a very significant call right there. What are they going to do with Ewing when he goes up there to try to swat these shots away? Now, he has to be a little bit more careful because if they're going to call it tight, looking like goaltending most of the time, which they have been, that ball had hit off the side of some difficulty. Gordy saves it. Again, James Worthy. Almost impossible to block a shot. as well. Here's Worthy. There shows his range. Perkins brings it out. Black, here's Worthy. He's the bread and butter man right now. Sensational turn because he had coming into this game tonight. Worthy. And that's five up. Yeah, that'll, that'll bring John Thompson up. Is that five? No sense. That's five. Now yeah, we get a little zone trap. Gordy tipped up and in by Worthy. I should say slammed in by Worthy. Last play by James Worthy. Excellent position to rebound. Here's the block out. Not quite there. Worthy grabs it and then just forces it down into the rim. 
He must have unbelievably large hands. On to his bench with Peterson and Brust in there. Trying to give his starters some breathing room. And Brown oh, yeah, again and Worthy with that beautiful arching shot has 16 points in the game. Sensane Smith and let him put up the shot. Ewing, that's the way he started the ball game. Right there at that spot and that gives the Hoyas a one-point lead. Nice release by Pat Ewing. Ewing with six points. He's had five goaltendings at the other end. Here is Worthy against Ewing. Rebound, Jordan. He changed hands and hit it. Wilkins has it for North Carolina. Worthy getting up slowly. Kelly has the ball. He's got it again. Worthy, the consensus All-American, has 18 points. Walking violation. Now, here you go. Worthy went up so high because he knew Ewing was coming over. Maybe a little higher than be comfortable. Here comes Jordan. As I said, a very dangerous offensive rebounder. Goes in, changes to the left hand, and puts it up. That was open. Ewing has six points, four rebounds, five goal tens, and one block shot. He's covered all bases. Well, Patrick, a 61% free throw shooter, been to the line 164 times this year. That's good form. We were watching earlier now. Watch it. So, as you call it, the good rotation on the ball. And excellent. He does have that control and a beautiful follow through. Yeah, it's like a six foot guard up there. That's the first free throw. Georgetown has had the opportunity to shoot in this game. And Ewing hits both of them when you pick up the ball. There's a reach in by Floyd. Big turnover. Eric Smith off the Ewing's got Floyd. the lob. There it is. You can see that one coming. That the middle. Here's Sleepy Floyd. Now, there are not many men in the country that can do what Pat Ewing did there. Oh, by Georgetown. Red Brown to Ewing. Oh, what a play. Worthy's down and up, but he just took it inside. 12 points for the seven-foot freshman. That was a great shot. Both teams are throwing the ball over the press very well. This is the first time we've seen somebody put it on the ball on the floor very much. 34-33. The Hoyas, is Michael Jordan. Oh, what a shooter he is. He had Black again, almost re-stealing the ball. Eric Smith. <laughs> Ewing follow tips. Ewing again. Ewing again. Ewing again. That I was talking about that shooting slump. He went in, Billy, and shot 82 extra. Somewhat of an excuse there. Well, that's the year that many people feel that Dean Smith had the best ball club. Lagarde was hurt. Davis was hurt. Ford was hurt. Jones is one of three. The one from the other is all for two. Steal by Worthy. Watch the Ewing. He intimidated him. Followed beautifully by Michael Jordan. Here we see the over the head, but you can hear the big guy coming behind you, and Jimmy Black tries to get it up on the short hop. It's not there, and here comes Jordan again. We said a very dangerous offensive rebounder. Oh, he wants to stop. Eric Smith, though, recovers. And the tip by Ewing. Oh, what an effort by this Georgetown team. Into Perkins. He's going to challenge Ewing. Blocked. Ewing got a piece of it, but Worthy is there. Wow, one, two punch that time. <laughs> Playing outstanding basketball. 43-42, North Carolina into Ewing. Perkins tries to stop him, but to no avail. He can... Georgetown with the lead. They can add to it. Ewing's going to do that. It'll count, and he's fouled by Sam Perkins. Perkins commits the foul. A three-point play possibility coming up. You can feel a little momentum change. The Carolina players getting tired. Now, Dean Smith putting in Peterson. Here you go. Ewing on the inside, looking for that ball, giving a good target, keeping his hands up. Perkins goes with him, and when he flicks that wrist down, he comes down with a foul, Ewing with a chance for the three-pointer. Great camera work. You could just see the rotation on the ball. Ewing this year averaged only 12 and a half points a game, but he has 18 tonight to go with seven rebounds. Gives that ball a little massage. Oh. What a basketball player, and he's just a freshman. John Thompson has brought him along very, very carefully. Adams changing. Brown yeah, mishandled the ball. He Look lost out. the handle. Look out. The basketball count and this foul is going to go on Sleepy Boy. Just when you think the momentum is going all towards down, Worthy gets it. Sleepy Floyd's seen this play before. There's no way he's going to stop James Worthy on that dunk. And listen to the fans in here. They see it on the big screen over again, and they're just enjoying it. Chance for this three-point play for Worthy. It's a one-point game. You got a four-on-one break. 
Jordy to Jordan. Sprigs out on him. Good coverage defensively. He still hit it. Oh, what presence of mind. For 23 points. From the free throw line, he's been hitting almost 90%. And we just jinxed him with that one. But look at the rebound by Jordan. Jordan just has been outstanding on the boards. Jordy, beautiful pass to Worthy. Look at the shoving between Perkins and Ewing. Floyd, that was a reach in by Jordan. Jordan is playing superb basketball to Worthy. 27 points, a career high for James Worthy, and he's trying to add to that at the 6.04 mark. Teams in the one and one. Both coaches have conserved their timeouts very well. Remember this, the next hell ball would go to Georgetown. Is Jordan on the ball? What a layup! He put that ball up about 12 feet. For Gene Smith, they don't want him shooting. He's not that good a shooter from outside. Ewing's going to try it. He oh! Point ball game. Yeah. No, they stay in the 1-3-1 with Ewing in the middle. They've got to look to get it in there. You can't with a shot blocker like Ewing take so much time. Gordy to Black. The time, 18. Shot, Jordan. Michael Jordan, 14 seconds. Brown. Look for, look for Sleepy Floyd. Look. Oh, he threw it to the wrong man. He threw it to Worthy. It's over. It's over. He's fouled by Eric Smith. Fred Brown, somehow or another, threw the ball into the hands of James Worthy. Now there's where they could have used the timeout. And Georgetown loses it. North Carolina has won the 1982 NCAA championship.